life, love, and pop, pop culture. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Delgado. And my name is Natalie Byrne. And you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. First of all, we need to talk about this poster because you look so badass in the poster. Oh, thank you. That's just me, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up like that with the scars and three cross tattoos on my face. So no. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your new film, Acceleration. It's, it's a fast-paced action film. Thriller um, has amazing actors, mm -hmm. as you can see. Dolph Lundgren, Chuck Liddell, Sean yeah. Patrick Flannery, Daniel Trejo, um, Rampage, and many more. Stella Kirkland, um, who was actually my first teacher, um, mm -hmm. which was really fascinating to act with her, like, face-to-face. -face. It, mm -hmm. was, it was great. I was always worried that she's going to give me some comments and be like, no, 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 let's do this again. You weren't in character. But no, she left me alone, thank God. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited. It comes out on November 8th um, on uh, digital and HD and in select theaters in 12 different cities. And it's also out on DVD and Blu-ray on December 17th. And you not only acted in it, but you produced it as well, right? So how does it feel to kind of switch between actress and a producer? God, I forgot that I produced it. No, I didn't. I'm kidding. I still remember that part because I'm still in it. Yeah. I'm still working on that film. Um, that was the tough part. Yeah, producing it, it was just, it's a lot of work. It's its combining, you know, you have to still be, being an actress on camera and then just breaking your character constantly and just going off, um, you know, off stage and just working on, with people and on, on things that you do not want to work with, like, stupid things that are like not necessary for an actor to know and here I am finding out like where's the tissue where's the yeah. like where, where are all the trailers and things like I'm like oh my god I didn't even know those things existed until people started asking me questions about it so it's just it's a lot of things to juggle when you're a producer I love that you're producing because usually when I walk on set there's a lot of men Oh, I love sure. older men, and I love seeing women on set because it kind of makes me feel like I can do that too, and I'm sure a lot of little girls feel the same way. Right? I hope so. That's exactly why I made that movie. I was like, you know what? I specifically gave myself a goal to produce this movie by myself because a lot of the times when, I, when I've done other movies in the past and there was another credit, like a man credited producer, um, I would always have this battle of people asking me, hey, so did you produce it or this guy produced it? And I'll be like, no, 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 I produced it, but he also did this. Mm -hmm. So here I was like, I'm not sharing any credits. I'm doing it by myself, but not just for um, for the audience, for the for the little girls to see that you can do it, mm -hmm. um, but also for me to kind of see yeah. if I can take on this challenge and actually, you know, um, go through it. And I've learned so much. Like mm -hmm. it's 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 great. It's like almost going to university and, and studying filmmaking, yeah. but but in the course of like this nine months, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but but it's, an, it's I wanted it to be inspiring for for women out there that you can definitely go on set and be bold and be brave mm -hmm. to really take over and not be scared yeah. or intimidated by men around you. Yeah. That they will listen. Trust me, they do. Once once they're being paid, they will listen. What do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Um, I think just uh, being confident, being confident, being bold, um, being a badass, and just not taking a no for an answer and you know just keeping keeping myself sane in this industry because it's it's very tough to to live here in Hollywood and just take constant rejection yeah. um but I work on myself I work on 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 developing myself and becoming a better person and um, with that being said, like I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any drugs, and I like that about me. I'm very focused on, on my career. I don't party, I don't go out. I came here for a goal, and I think yeah. he's doing something like, what? <laughs> like, you don't drink? You know, so like, <laughs> no, I don't. Imagine that, I'm drunk on life. Yeah. <laughs> yep, pretty much like that. And I can still dance, and I'm still fun, I think. Well, at least fun by myself in the room, so. <laughs> but um, I think, yeah, I, I love, I would love my my, my fans to remember me by that that I was that I was one of the only people here in Hollywood yeah. who who did it just happy being on life happy on life and being sober yeah. all, all the time yeah. it's not like like where I'm not counting years I mean I've never drank anything yeah. so and I can still do that's good I'll yeah. take reject rejections and I'm still okay and mm -hmm. yes I get hurt and yes you know I get pain all the time but but at the same time it's like you know that's life and yeah. and as an actor to kill those feel feelings 
And those rejections, I think it's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. You have to like, you have to live through it because that's how you become stronger. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story and thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture.